the Higgs boson, the Higgs particle, the God particle, as some have called it. It's an elusive elemental particle theorized about for nearly half a century. They call it the God particle because it might have created all matter. You see, scientists are trying to figure out how the Big Bang started to evolve. You see, the theory is that all of the universe's energy was created from this one massive explosion from nothingness. But the question remains, how did that, any of that energy turn into matter? Because for, right, during the first few minutes of our universe after the Big Bang, the temperature was so hot that it was too hot for any binding energy that could have supported any matter, even hydrogen or its isotope deuterium. With temperature so hot, the, this bottleneck delayed the formation of anything until the universe was cool enough to make anything out of anything. But just a few minutes after the Big Bang, elements burst forth because the universe suddenly got cool enough. But at 20 minutes after the Big Bang, the universe was suddenly too cool for nuclear fusion and nuclear synthesis. Nuclear synthesis. And so that is when elemental abundances were nearly fixed. That means hydrogen, helium, and trace amounts of lithium, beryllium, and boron were the elements formed after the first three minutes of the Big Bang. Sorry, any elements starting at carbon or even higher, oxygen, anything, they were only formed after stars were actually around to create them. So the creation of matter out of energy during the formation of the universe only happened in an insanely brief period in the universe's history. Was it that the insanely hot temperatures did it, or this insanely short period pulled it off? Maybe is that all it was? And what does that have to do with the Higgs boson particle anyway? Well, scientists believe the Higgs particle is a part of the Higgs field, an invisible field of energy throughout the entire universe. That Higgs particle interacts with whatever energy passes through the Higgs field. And with this interaction, particles, massless particles, they trade some of their energy to gain mass when passing through. And this Higgs field, in the beginning of the universe helped create matter, which helped create us. Higgs helped create matter, including the first elements in this universe, from hydrogen to the comparatively heavy boron. Yeah, five electrons is heavy in the formation of the universe. Yeah, boron, which helps keep our bones strong. Boron helps osteoarthritis. Boron builds muscles. And when it comes to trying to understand this science stuff, it even improves our thinking skills. We've known of boron for thousands of years, from the deserts of Tibet to um, China, used in glazes throughout, uh, all the way over to Persia, before it actually got to Italy, before it was used for medical purposes. Well, knowing how long we've used borax for cleaning, or even that boron's used to make the strongest magnet ever made, it's nice to know that we also understand how much this infancy of the universe element is vital to everything in our lives, from our muscles and bones to the very creation of the universe. Yeah, it's cool to see how scientists are starting to piece together how matter came to be in this universe, because without that Higgs field and without that Higgs particle, energy would never have turned into elements like boron or creates anything, like even creates us.